It seems we have been searching for signs of water on Mars, one of the key ingredients for life as we know it, for quite some time now. With more than 50 years of exploration, including satellites, probes, and rovers, we now know quite a bit about the red planet. We know that Mars once had liquid water, a whole ocean in fact, and we know that Mars has polar ice caps, frozen water covered in a thick layer of dust. But until now, scientists had thought that conditions on the red planet were too cold and arid for liquid water to exist. And now for the first time, scientists believe they have evidence of liquid water today on Mars. A new study reports that the Curiosity rover has found signs that thin layers of super salty water could form and evaporate on a daily basis on the surface of Mars. Now it's only a very small amount and only during the planet's spring and winter months, but this salty water makes the hunt for past life on Mars all the more exciting. The new measurements were taken by the Curiosity rover at the Gale Crater and during winter nights temperatures and humidity levels are just right for liquid brine to form. The liquid evaporates during the Martian day when temperatures rise but basically what Curiosity has witnessed is a daily water cycle. One where salt is a major factor in the exchange between the surface and the ground rather than the atmosphere like here on Earth. Now the liquid brine comes in such tiny quantities between the grains of soil, it doesn't even quite form droplets. But these results back up the theory that dark streaks seen on features such as crater walls could be formed by flowing water. As for the brine, it's actually the presence of so much salt on the Martian surface that significantly lowers the freezing point of water and it allows it to form in temperatures around minus 70 degrees. The salt also soaks up water vapor from the atmosphere. Although there are organisms on Earth that can survive in salty environments, halophiles, it's the solar radiation that makes current life on Mars so unlikely. Without a magnetic field like here at home, cosmic radiation would kill even the most robust microbes known on Earth. The Martian magnetic field is thought to be lost around 4 billion years ago. But more and more evidence supports the theory that Mars was once a very wet planet before its atmosphere was stripped. And the search for evidence of past life on the planet is now a primary NASA objective. And so, search continues. And now, your Science Smart. If you've got a science question on your mind, send me a tweet and I'll try to get it answered.